Hey folks, hope you're having a good week this week. So I have this kind of radical thought that I want to share with you. Sometimes I think the ins and outs of modern church are a way for us to contain God's love. In our deepest selves, the radical love of God for all of us, for every human being, a love that died to save us, a love that died to give us new life, a love where God became human and, and became a slave to humanity to lift us up. Rich, poor, uh, uh, Democrat, Republican, it doesn't matter. God's radical love goes out to everyone equally. And that includes you. I think sometimes our ways of doing church are our human way to contain that love because it makes us nervous. God's love makes us nervous because it might go out to the people in our town that no one likes. It might be readily available and free to the freeloader who doesn't do anything to make a living or to do anything for himself. That love goes to that person just as much as it goes to you. It goes to the family member who we can't forgive. The radical love of God forgave them already and embraces them. And here's the really crazy thing about it. We also buy into the myth. And so we drag ourselves to church out of obligation, ho-hum, not really excited. It's something we have to do as if we're doing something to make God happy. But the fact is that God is already happy. God already died for you. God's love is already there for you. You don't need to do stuff to earn it or to make it better or to make God like you more. You don't have to have a uh, social media presence that uh, appeals to uh, a million people to feel good about yourself. The fact is that God already died for you. God loves you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. In fact, that's part of the love of God is that God doesn't want you to do anything about it. God doesn't want you to do anything to earn it. It's free. It's for you. It's for your family members. It's for the people down the street. It is for everyone. And so we do church the way we do sometimes in American culture to put a lid on that love because it's a little radical and it makes us a little nervous because it breaks our rules. What we should be doing instead is just saying yes. Say yes to God's love. Believe that it's for you. Ah, and when you say yes, be careful because it will transform your life. It will change how you look at yourself. It will change how you look at the people around you. It will change the world, but it will only change the world if we stop trying so hard to contain it. As we journey through Lent this season, follow Jesus' journey into a radical expression of God's love. And let that love change you. Let it bring you joy, happiness, peace, comfort. Let your life be overflowing with that love rather than trying to contain it in ritual and religious uh, ways of living or thinking that that's what God needs from you. God doesn't need any of that. Just take the gift. Just take the gift. God's love is that radical. And yeah, it makes us nervous. And it should. But man, there's nothing more valuable in this life than realizing that God loves you and wants to bring you into his family. No strings attached, no matter what you've done or where you've been.
And the church should be the open door of that kingdom. A place where you realize and hear about and are encouraged in that love. Not a place where you drag your feet and show up because you have to. Or where you apologize because you haven't been there. God, God already loves you. You don't need to apologize. Our prayer I want to read to you today is from St. Teresa of Avila. And it's kind of an interesting prayer because it's not so much a prayer as we think about it. It's more of just a statement to God. And sometimes prayers are just statements to God that we give to God. Lord, watch over me. Lord, you are great. Those are prayers just the same. St. Teresa's is this. Lord, you are closer to me than my own breathing, nearer to me than my own hands and feet. Amen. Just an acknowledgement that God is closer than our own breath. Acknowledge that today. Acknowledge that God's love is for you today. Make that your prayer. We'll see you next time.